All right. All right. Uh, while we were hanging out in Jacksonville, that's uh, that place kind of went to shit with the military blowing up things and the zombies running everywhere, people running everywhere, and military running around everywhere, shooting all those other people that are running around everywhere. And they come across our RV and basically broke in. Uh, it seemed to be the only moving piece of equipment at the time, so everyone was excited about getting into it. So they they jumped in, took it over, then the other people pushed it over. We, f we crashed, basically, so we ran off, ran off with them. And we got into um, their vehicles, and basically we found a an abandoned distribution center, and along with uh, uh, forty other civilians, we hung out there, resupplied for a while. Then the citizens were starting to get upset with kill her. The army guys uh, were defending her because they knew that she was only sick and not a zombie. Eventually that came to a head and there was a confrontation, but not before zombies decided to ruin that party as well and broke in. Of course. Always uh, zombies so will break in. We, we left that place in a hurry with a few vehicles and drove until we met some other people just outside of a town. Or actually, we didn't beat them. Just, just quickly, add that uh, a, a helicopter crashed on the road in front of us, and the pilot was also bitten. He was dragging his was bloody stumps trying to bite so, you guys. Them too. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Dragging themselves around, trying to come after us. Yeah. But, uh, we took care of that, and the some other people drove up at the same time and helped us out with that. Come to find out, they were from a small town just down the road, so we followed them back to that town. We had their doctor check us out, check out the girl, help everyone out. The We only had two of the army men left with us. One was severely hurt, one hurt only a little. Uh, we mingled with the crowd, we talked to the, the, the city and allowing us to stay with them, they agreed. The two military guys decided they wanted to leave, though, after his really sick buddy got well, but before he got well, and we all decided to run out to look for him, because he said he was going to back to Jacksonville. We knew he was in no shape to do so, and would probably get hurt. Fantasy Grounds, excessive demons. Or even, even find Welcome his way the there channel. at all. So we went after him. Once Welcome we to did the channel. go after him... I don't think we found him, but we did find more military people. And they had their guns leveled at us, but the the colonel that we were with, he knew him, and they've been talking with him, and that's where we are now. Ah, there you go. Nice, uh, nice uh, recap. Yeah, you guys... Uh Kind of about halfway through the, the the time that you guys were in Dalesbury, which is the the town that uh, has fortified itself. <clears throat> Basically, you know, several things happened. You guys were accepted into their community. They all voted in the uh, you know in the old theater. Uh, Samantha started feeling much better, so now you know she's kind of up and about uh, with Joe playing with. Uh, toys and whatnot now so you know hey you know she she was fine all along i mean you know uh, the, everyone was right she wasn't infected so then we have you know private johnson you know he he ends up uh becoming missing and corporal hauser is that name and, a joke no private johnson that's who i named him private johnson so Private Johnson uh, disappeared, you know, because you, you know whenever you watch a uh, a military movie, it's like Johnson, get down and give me twenty five. <laughs> There's always a Johnson, and no matter what war movie you watch, it's always Johnson. So that's why I named him uh, Private Johnson. And Private Johnson kind of uh, disappeared. He told Doctor Lewis, remember the brother of John Lewis, which is the mayor, the new mayor of uh, Dalesbury told the doctor uh, to tell the corporal that you know he was in his right mind and he wanted to go back to Jacksonville to find the rest of his brothers you know from the military of course you know the uh, 
you know, Corporal Hauser did not like that. I'm gonna try not to call him. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try not to call. I'm sorry. I've already screwed this up. I'm gonna try not to call him Corporal, but Colonel. Ugh, Colonel. 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 So, anyways, Colonel Hauser uh, didn't like that. So you know, now all of a sudden, Hauser is thinking that maybe the town has had something to do with this. Uh, a couple of blames were thrown apart. Uh, you know, then there was uh, enough discussion uh, between the mayor and the colonel that you would be able to go on border patrol and look for uh, Johnson. So, as you guys are searching around uh, towards the very, very end of last week's session, you guys ran into uh, a numerous amount of uh, military vehicles, all Humvees, with a Major Morgan. And Major Morgan and Colonel Hauser know one another. And you guys were entailed back to Dalesbury. So that, uh, you know, is what is going on. So you guys are several miles out from Dalesbury. And, you know, you basically make your way back. Now, when you when you lead Major Morgan and the rest of the convoy back to Dalesbury, you know, along the way, pretty much the men from the town in the you know the pickup truck that came with you guys, uh, you know, they're hanging back, and you know, there's been several stops checking on corpses on the side of the road and whatnot, and you know, these men are pretty much hanging back, and they're always talking, you know, in low tones amongst themselves, and you know, whispering. And, you know, casting a lot of suspicious glances towards not only your directions now, but with the new major that's tagging along. So, Colonel Hauser basically walks next to the major, and they're discussing what went wrong in Jacksonville on one of your stops. And then you overhear something about, you know, one of the zombies somehow uh, leading to the others, you know, but... That's about all you hear because they, they, they kind of talk in a, in a lower tone. You guys get back into the vehicles. You make your way uh, the rest of the way back to Dalesbury. And you pass through the makeshift gates of the town. And, you know, several men dart down the main street towards the center. You know, you can see many others that are starting to gather in the doorways and the windows. Because, you know, they want to know what the heck all this commotion is with all these, you know, these new loud military vehicles. So, you know, there's a there's a, a big commotion. So, you know, there's a lot of people gathering in the doorways, you know, in their windows and whatnot, because this is unheard of. So, Major Morgan, he gets on the on the intercom. He's just that way. Tells all of the all of the vehicles to halt. And, you know, once all of his men are through the gate. And now, you know, several minutes pass. And then Major Lewis, uh, I'm sorry, Mayor Lewis, the names that I'm trying to remember and memorize on this, Mayor Lewis and his men approach. So Major uh, <laughs> Mayor Lewis, he introduces himself and he says, I'm, Major, I'm Mayor Lewis. What in the heck is going on here? And, you know, when you look at the mayor's face, I mean, it is clearly showing that he is pissed off that all of these military personnel are here now, these vehicles, and he is not happy about this new, you know, major or colonel or whoever it is, is in his presence. So, as this is going on, Major Morgan, he steps forward, introduces himself, extends his hand out, and the mayor looks at it for a brief moment before, you know, then reluctantly grabs his hand, clasps it, and shakes it. At, you know, but you can tell that, uh, and I'm not going to make you do any role for that, you can tell that it was definitely forced on the mayor's end. So, you know, as, as chit-chat starts to happen, you know, the, um, Mayor Lewis is listening to Major Morgan, you know, talking about the route in Jacksonville, the escape that they had, uh, and he is in need of a temporary place or a temporary shelter so he can get some rest, his men can get some rest, and replenish their supplies. And, you know, the mayor is quite, he's quite adamant. He shakes his head, 
uh, you know, stating that Dalesbury is, you know, they're already struggling enough, you know, with especially with uh, the newcomers that had just came with more of his military personnel, and he just simply cannot help, you know, Major Morgan out and his men. And, you know, the Major replies that he wouldn't dream of imposing, but his men just need rest from the town, you know, and then they, they don't even need to replenish their supplies. They'll move to another town. They'll forge on their own, find their own supplies. Uh, they just need to get some rest. So, you know, now <laughs> Mayor Lewis is actually getting quite serious and tells them, the Major that he has to leave. I mean, he just he just flat out tells him, you know, Ma Major Morgan, it, it's really nice to meet you, but I really think that you and your men are going to have to leave now. Mm -hmm, bad and, move. Uh, yeah. So, <clears throat> you know, not only, you know, could the convey draw more of the creatures of the gates, but there is no way of knowing if his men have even become infected. And then, he's, you know, he goes into telling about the outbreak that Dalesbury had already had uh, about a week and a half ago. And, you know, he basically goes on to saying that that's the last thing that his community needs is another outbreak. You know, and he says that, you know, Dalesbury has been doing fine on keeping, you know, everything outside of its gates. And, you know, uh, as long as I'm mayor of this town, I just don't want to take the risk uh, or the safety of, of our citizens here. You know, and, and, and Major Morgan, he, he starts to step forward. You know, he's, he's, you can tell he's a, he's a grisly old veteran, you know, in, in the military. You know, he basically tells the mayor that whether or not, you know, these creatures, these zombies as everybody, shamblers as everybody is calling them, follows them or not, they're eventually going to find Dalesbury. And he says, it's not going to be ten. It's not going to be 10. It's not going to be 100. It's going to be tens of thousands of these goddamn things. Tens of thousands. What do you not understand, you know, Mayor? They escaped from the quarantine in Jacksonville. And it's just a matter of time before Dalesbury is overrun and compromised. You know, the, the mayor starts to point out, well, the, the town's defenses are, you know, they're they're... You know, they're adequate, and, you know, the mayor points that out, and then the major says, no, it is not. It is inadequate against these living dead because they're going to arrive in mass. And then he says, the town is at risk anyway. You know, as for an infection, none of my men have been bitten, and I'm even willing to submit them all for examination if your town has any kind of medical staff available or on call or on duty. And then he says, however, he and his men are staying long enough to rest. And he says, he, he is, this is what is going to happen. And you are not going to send them back out there overly fatigued and get my men killed. And then he tells the mayor, once they've rested, they and I, we will be on our way. You have my word. Yeah, the mayor, you know, doesn't, doesn't like this. He orders them to leave now. And then all now... All of a sudden, a dozen or so of his guards start to level their automatic weapons. You know, the soldiers do the same. The major major orders them to hold their fire and lower the weapons. You know, now this is going on. You guys are starting to kind of slink behind these these Humvees. You know, the mayor has some of his men up on on the top of the buildings and whatnot. I'm just shaking my head. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's like it's like two kids in a piss, pissing match. You know, then the mayor's screaming, the, the, the major's screaming, the mayor orders him to leave. And then the mayor, you know, the major tells him that he, he will not give the order. And then, you know, continues to order his men to hold their fire. You know, and, and uh, then he tells him to lower his weapons. You know, the, uh, then the, the mayor turns to you guys. Turns to uh, Rose and Steve and Jax and Sam and says, you guys... You know, you guys are going to have to leave. Uh, you know, with these guys, this is just not going to work out. You know, and you know the the men are still. You know, his men are still. You know, basically, uh, you know, putting their guns down at you. You know, and then he goes on to say that you know you guys had no right to bring them to Dalesbury. You know, and but but then you know. The colonel he steps up and and tells the mayor it, it was his idea 
to bring Major Morgan and his men back, you know, back to Dalesbury. It, it was his uh, his idea. You know, he says, bringing in, you know, the colonel says, bringing these men, you're bringing experience back to this place that can actually help and benefit this small community by tightening up the defenses and whatnot and, you know, fortifying it a little bit better. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a win-win for the town. You know, and, and then, I mean, do you guys have anything else you guys want to add as well? Um, I thought it was a, a narrative, but I did put uh, two cents in yeah, a couple absolutely. of times. Sure, absolutely. You guys, uh, if you guys want to add a little bit in, go for it. Cat got everybody's tongue. Well, Jax, Jax <laughs> sees that. The, 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 uh, I guess I put them so to both sleep. sides are still pointing their guns at each at one another. Or did one side uh, back down? Yeah, Ma Major Morgan pretty much told his men to stand down. Although the mayor, uh, he has not given that command yet on, on his end. Okay. So, so I'm you know I'm kind of standing there and I'm, I'm telling the mayor it's like you know you know these, you know these folks are right. You know we everything that they just told you is true, and you have, you know your your town has done very well so far under your leadership. But we've seen what's coming. You're darn right to have. <laughs> Dalesbury, yeah, sir, and, will and, persevere. You know, you've done very well. In what's coming? You know, and I I really hope that's true. But there there is a storm of dead coming. You know, you would be amazed at how many. I have never seen this many shamblers all in one spot, and they are all on their way. And I, I really worry that it may be a bit too much for you to, to to take care of alone. You know, I think that if if nothing else, if you could allow the general's men to at least rest up, and then they will be on their way. They've given you their word. You know, if they don't if they don't hold to it, then with it. But you know, they they they've been fighting all night. They're tired. They're beaten down, and you know they could really use some rest. Why don't you give me a persuasion roll? <sighs> if you uh, don't have persuasion, just do an unskilled yeah, check. Anybody else can, can, you know, anybody else can get in on this also. I will remind uh, the mayor, sir. Uh, e yes, little Sam. Sir, sir, you have done very well, but that's only against a few zombies here and there. Um, this is. A wave of zombies they'll roll right over your defense I want you to give me a persuasion might be roll best, too and I'll also add it might be best to have the experience of some people who have been fighting waves of zombies yeah the the mayor kind of puts his puts his hand under his you know, chin kind of scratches it a little bit, and uh, you know, he he basically just kind of looks back over and stares at the major, and then he says, "Okay, you have 36 hours, and then you got to be out of town." You know, uh, there's you know no exceptions. I'm not going to be negotiated. I'm not going to be ha manhandled by anyone, any kind of ranking military figure because frankly right now uh, the military doesn't exist. So I, I will be a, a kind host and and give you 36 hours and then you got to be out of here. And then the mayor says if you're going to stay, last condition Major Morgan, you need to take your men over to see my brother at the doctor's office and Dr. Lewis will take care of you. And the major, major kind of just also you know, mayor. Yes, little Sam. I hear your ultimatum, and also you may want to wish that the zombie horde comes within the next thirty-six hours, if we're lucky. Hopefully, they don't come at all. 
Yeah, I'm, I think that <laughs> they uh, will come. We've been safe so far, Sam. Uh, uh, here at Dale's Bear, we've had just a few stragglers up against the wall. The you know the our vehicle wall. I think we'll be safe. I mean, we have but not. Think, uh, where else would they go? Hopefully away from Dalesbury. <laughs> and he kind of chuckles. We've had good luck so far, and I, I, I do believe the good Lord is on our side. So the Major, he does, you know, he does, you know, agree to the terms of the mayor and says that he'll be gone 36 hours. And then he tells his men to head towards, you know, and a couple of uh, the men of the mayor escort all of the soldiers and, and the major to uh, Dr. Lewis's office, which is sort of in the middle of the town, where you guys had gone. So, all right. So, you know, now the, the crowd is, you know, the mayor is, you know, kind of looks over at you guys and says, you guys have 36 hours as well. And you guys are going to have to leave with uh, Colonel Hauser and Major Morgan and uh, the rest of the military. You know, I, I will help you still try to find uh, Johnson that is missing. Uh, but after 36 hours, uh, you guys are going to have to leave as well. But, uh, you know, and, and this is when, this is actually when Gregory, you know, he, he kind of steps up with his two sons, David and Timothy, and he's telling, the maid, he's telling the mayor that he wants to stay. He really likes the community here at, uh, at, at, at Dalesbury, and he, he really wants to stay. He wants to... Wait, who's saying this? This is Gregory, with the two children that were, was on the bus oh, okay. with you guys. He, he says he really wants to keep his children safe, and, and he thinks that uh, Dalesbury would be a great place uh, to you know, stay with his children now. He thinks that this would be the safest and, and uh, the best chance for, for uh, he and his kids' survival. And, uh, you know, the, the mayor just kind of walks away and says he'll think about it. So, you know, the crowd kind of disperses. Everybody kind of gets out of their doorways, uh, goes back to Ken's bar. And, you know, you could see uh, Mary Anderson, she was there. Eileen, she was there. So, uh, what do you guys think? You guys want to, I don't know, hang around the town? You guys want to go back out? Uh, you know, the once you guys get back, the, the next patrol heads out uh, and, you know, starts looking for the colonel's man. And, uh, you know, it is uh, appreciated that uh, his men did go out and do that. You know, the, the colonel thanks him and, and, and whatnot. So you guys are free to go wherever you want to pull, you know, wherever you may uh, want to go. Where's the colonel? Uh, the colonel, he's he's with you guys. He's still concerned about his his missing uh, soldier. Or we're you know. still out looking then, correct? Uh, no, you're you're back in Dalesbury, but no, you're basically it, it was time for your uh, your border patrol to end, and the new border patrol is now heading out. Okay. So you guys are free to, uh, you know, your shift is over. You're free to go around the town. And, you know, Corporal Hauser, you know, is still concerned. And Major Morgan says that seeing that they have 36 hours, he's going to split his men up on shifts. Uh, and as they get rest, they're also going to go out and do their own reconnaissance and try to find uh, uh, Johnson. You know, and, you know, Major Morgan even, you know, tells Colonel Hauser as he's leaving towards the uh as to Dr. Lewis's office. He even says that, you know, he he had gotten reports on the radio when it was still working that uh, you know, a lot of the, the companies and, and uh regiments were having a problem with, you know, soldiers going AWOL. And it, but, you know, he said that most of those were, you know, from the city. So you guys are uh, you guys are free to, to hang around Dalesbury. Here's the here is the map again. Is the, the major beautiful Oregon map of Dalesbury? Up yet? Yes, the uh, the major does uh, take his men towards Doctor Lewis's office. 
How many men yeah. is there total? Uh, there's probably about uh, I'd say about a probably about a dozen men or so. A dozen men. Of okay, it's not that many. No, no. That number could change if I run into a different number. I will uh, I will correct myself. So. Is Dave cutting out for anybody else, or is it just yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. didn't interrupt earlier, man. All right. It's it's not just the team speak though; it's the video too. Video too, yeah. Hmm. Awesome. Here we go again, huh? <laughs> but no one in stream has said anything, so I guess it's okay for there on that end. Um. Well, I want to seek out the major just as soon as he leaves the doctors. You want to do what now? Oh, well, I'm looking for the major. I am hanging out to the next doctor's office, waiting for him to leave there. The the major. I'm go back. Yeah, he he went to the doctor's office with his men. Right on, and I'm outside waiting. I'm gonna go back to the bar and get one of my uh, other beers that I have. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <from Ken. laughs> Yeah, what? I want to go to the bar too. All right, what's happening, Steve? You back again? You gonna get one of your beers? It, did, did any of the soldiers come into the bar? Uh, there's a couple. No, no, not the soldiers. Are they there, all but a couple on, citizens. Like, patrol? No, they're okay. they're all at the uh, the doctor's office. They've all had to go there to get checked out by Doctor Lewis. Okay, I'm gonna ask Ken. Um, uh, Ken, what do you what do you think? What's about happening, these, Steve? Uh, what do you think about these soldiers uh, coming here? Do you think it's a good thing, or do you think the mayor's overreacting? Yeah, I t I'll tell you what, Steve. I'm going to be honest here. I'm going to be frank, and I ain't even been drinking, Stephen. But I, I I think the mayor might be going a little overboard on this. I mean, I, I mean, you got those. Look at those big guns they got on top of those Jeeps. I don't know, but those could kill a lot of those suckers. I, I would keep them here. That's that's my uh, I, that's what I would think. I don't know why the why the mayor's being uh, the way he is. He he just seemed like he was a uh, a little bit too angry for for them to show up. I was actually happy to see him once I knew that they weren't going to try to take Dalesbury over. It was actually nice to see a a, a larger military presence here. Yeah, I don't think they're looking to take anybody over. I think they're more looking to get everybody out before the. Zombie hordes attack. I'm I'm sure they probably want to get back to their families too. So yeah. So uh, you went back to the doctor's office area, correct? Yep. Sam, all right. Yeah, Rosa's gonna go with her. She knows that Sam can handle himself, but you know she doesn't want a little kid walking these streets alone, and she doesn't trust these people anymore. Okay. So, Jax, yeah, you went to the bar, too, right? Sorry about that. Yes. Okay. So, really quick in the bar, Jax, uh, you know, you sit down also with Steve. Uh, what are you doing? You want something to drink there, Jax? You, you know the oh, deal. I'm... You see a <laughs> sign outside. You got to, you know, you want to you wanna play, you got to pay. So, you got anything to trade for any, uh, for any, any booze? You broke up there, but yeah, I wasn't here last week, so if there's something fun I need to do to drink, I will do it. No, just trade. <laughs> he wants trade, because there's oh, no okay. more currency anymore, so you're going to trade something? You could have something to drink. What do, you, what do you want? And what you got to trade? I have... Uh, I really want to drink, but I have, a, I have a can of chewing tobacco. Oh! Yeah, hell, hell yeah! Steve gave a pack of cigarettes last week. He, Steve had a pack of Newports last week. I'll take, I'll take that. Uh, what is that? Ooh, that's Skull. That's Skull Bandits. Those are good. Yeah, yeah. I'm shocked. Yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you three beers for that. And you can get one now, or you can get them all now. It don't matter. I'll have one now. I'll have two now. Oh, all right. It's been so, a rough night. You know, he sets down two, you know, two half clean mugs and <laughs> goes over to the the Budweiser uh, keg that's on the wall and you know pulls the handle and fills up two beers and puts them down in front of you. Takes the can of a uh, skull and he says, "Oh, I, yeah, I'll find somebody that wants this." You know, that's all. That's what it's about now. It's about trading. 
There ain't no, there ain't no more debit cards. And well, he, I appreciate it. I got some catching up to do. Yeah, he takes, uh, you know, the electronic.